Hi there lovely people, you've got Sammy here and today we're going to be going going to be doing the loopy loops granny square as part of our 365 granny square a day crochet along project. It's really quite apt that the loopy videographer is the one showing you today. Hmm. Let's get started anyway. Done a foundation chain of 20, so 20 stitches for our foundation. Just going to add one more and I'm going to start working single crochet so second chain from the hook Hold on. Oh, single crochet what am I doing <laughs> second chain from the hook with a single crochet first one's the worst one And one into the second as well. Who enjoys doing a foundation chain? Really, I'd love to know if you do. Uh, then we are going to chain 12. One, two, three, four. Eleven and twelve. So two single crochet, a chain of twelve. We're going to go straight into the next stitch, so we're not missing any. Our little first loopy loops just going to sit on top there. We're going to pop a single crochet into the next four stitches. Two, three, and four. And another chain of 12. Twelve. What's our second loopy loop? And go back into the next stitch with a single crochet into the three after that. Ah, oh, if I can get into the chain. There we go. Okay, so four single crochet. One, two. Three, four. We're going to continue repeating that pattern pretty much to the end. When you get close, you're going to do um, the last chain 12 loopy loop, and you will have two stitches left over. Remember, we started with two on this end, so you'll have a row of chain 12 loopy loops there will be five in total each separated by four single crochet end of the row there'll be two single crochet on each end i'll let you guys finish off row one i'll meet you back here ready for row two i am changing colors every row for this square see you soon all right row one done looks like a little bit of a mess right now don't worry, it's all going to take shape really quickly. Those loops just make it very twisty. So I have changed colour. I did say I was changing colour every row. It's not entirely true because the next two rows will both be worked in purple for me. So I've um, joined my new colour in uh, with single crochet. If you're using the same, just do a chain one, turn it over and pop a single crochet into the same stitch. We're just going to do a row of single crochet all the way across now where we've worked the loops we're still going to do a single crochet into those stitches we're just going to push the loop back 
remembering we're looking at the back of the square now so that those loops will be sitting on the front when we turn over and start working. So a single crochet into each stitch. So at the end of this row, you'll have 20 single crochet, the loops sitting out the front of the square. The next row, row three, once we've done our 20 single crochet on this side, we're going to turn over and do another row of single crochet into the top of this one. So I'm going to be working with both rows, two and three, with this colour. I'm not going to walk you through the second row of single crochet. Just finish this one, remembering to keep those loops at the back of where we're working, which is the front of our project. You can see the first one sitting up there. Um, I'll meet you back here when you've done row two and row three. Two rows of single crochet. Okay guys, I'm back. Done our two rows of single crochet. I'm gonna really mix it up now for row four and do another row of single crochet. So single crochet all the way across, 20 stitches. I will meet you back here for row five. All right, back, row five. So we've got our row of loopy loops, three rows of single crochet, a charge cord next to my knee. Sorry for that movement. All right, I am going to join in. You can join in with a slip stitch, a chain one, and then a single crochet in the same stitch, but I find single crochet to start sits just fine. So a single crochet into the first two stitches. and then a chain of 12. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Going into the next stitch with a single crochet. One, two, three, four, and chain 12 again. So it's a repeat of our row one. and then four single crochet. So we're just repeating that pattern again. A chain of 12 separated by four single crochet. Five loops at the end of the row. Remember both ends, we start and finish with two single crochet to frame up the ends. So I'll let you guys finish that row and I will meet you back here for row six. See you soon. Okay, back gorgeous people, ready for row six. So I've got another row of loopy loops, we're on the back. I'm just going to join in into the last stitch. And <clears throat> you have a row of single crochet. Three of them, actually. So just a complete repetition of the pattern that we followed for the first four rows. We're going to do that <clears throat> until we've completed 20 rows. So we're just going to keep repeating rows one. Oh my god. <laughs> We're just going to keep repeating rows one through four until we have 20 rows. So I'm going to leave you guys to work those rows up. I will meet you back here when you have 
20 rows. So that'll be one, two, three, five rows of loops. And then I will show you how to turn this loopy, loopy square into something truly gorgeous. I'll see you soon. Okay, lovely people, I am back. So I finished off my repeats to get up to row 20. Because I'm a tight hooker, it was a little bit rectangular. So I've just added another repeat. So instead of five loops, I have six. I've also um, gone ahead and done row 21, which is another row of single crochet. Now what we're doing is linking our loops together. So they're all gonna sit up nice and flat and they are going to be attached on the next row, so they'll stay that way. So I'm just gonna just a little, see if I can get this nice and clear for you. So, grabbing the second loop, I'm gonna put it through the first and pull it up. Grab the third, pop that through the center of the second and pull it up. Fourth, through the third and pull it up and you can see how they're joining together sitting nice and flat flat and making that gorgeous design so we're just grabbing the one above going through the loop and pulling it up starting again at the bottom we grab the second put it through the center of the first pull it up Third through the second, pull it up, fourth through the third and pull it up, fifth through the fourth and as I said I had to add an extra row, so sixth through the fifth and pull it up, wanting them to sit nice and flat. So I'll let you finish out those last couple, leaving the, the last one loose. We will be joining that on in the next row. I'll meet you back here, ready for row 22. Okay, back, all looped together and ready for row 22. So I've just joined with a slip stitch, doing a chain one, and then doing a single crochet. into the next two stitches. Now we're going to do another single crochet, but we're going to capture that loop. So I'm just going to go through the top and complete my single crochet through the stitch and the loop. Single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, three. And then once again, we're capturing the loop. So I'm just gonna go through the loop, pop it on my hook, and go through my previous stitch as normal to complete the single crochet. three single crochet, one, two, three, and capture the loop. So I'm just going to repeat that all the way to the end for row 22. Three single crochet between each loop we capture. I'll meet you back here to do our border round, which will finalize the square. Really looking quite beautiful, and you can see they're all looped together and sitting nice and flat. And while not completely attached, they're all firmly set where they are. And I think you'll agree, all those color changes and ends to weave in are all worth it for the effect. All right, finish off that row. I'll meet you back here to finish right. the square. Finished. I'm rolling. That is all part of being a tight hooker. 
And you can see the finished effect there. Gorgeous, gorgeous square. I'm going to be using this really pale pink um, to do the border on my square. <clears throat> if you're changing colour for a different colour border, just join in any corner space. We're going to start by doing a single crochet, a chain of two, and a single crochet, and that is our corner completed. Nice, simple, single crochet edging for our gorgeous, intricate square. We're just going to pop a single crochet into each stitch all the way back to our starting point, and our square is complete. And it's just one in each down the side because it's a single crochet square. So it makes it nice and easy. I'm doing a little cheat and <laughs> crocheting over as many ends as I can. You can see how that's going to progress. I'll let you guys finish off that row of single crochet. I hope you've all enjoyed this square as much as I have. Have a fab day. Until next time, happy hooking.